The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Um, I take it you watched the two games uh, yesterday. Um, did it feel to you like the World Cup had gone up a notch in terms of the level of performance? And if so, is that kind of performance that we saw, well, from pretty much from all four teams yesterday, is that, is that a level of football that England can match? Yeah, definitely. I think there's always a, another gear that you can, you can go up. Um, and I think that's the same with us. Um, you know, the, f the further you go in the competition, you know, the more intense it gets. And, as long as we're prepared for that, um, you know, and get the win, um, then it'll be perfect for us. Good question here. Thanks. Hi, Jesse. Uh, you've scored one of England's best ever World Cup goals. Uh, which is your favourite World Cup goal that you've seen so far? And do you think yours will be in the reckoning for a goal of the tournament? Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think. I think um, obviously I'm going to say my goal. Um, you know, it was it was a great time to score. Um, you know, I needed to score. I felt so um, to score in that in that fashion and that way. Um, you know, was, was was great for me. Which are your other favourites? Um, there's been quite a few. Um, I like the French goal yesterday from Pavard. Um, that was a very good technique. So just, just as a quick follow-on to that, Andy done from the Daily Mirror, as a quick follow-on to that, how are you, I mean, do you practice that ball striking or, or, or dead, do you hit a dead ball? And, and how about these balls that are being used at the World Cup? We've seen a lot of great strikes. Are they any different or do you, do you, are you happy with them? Yeah, they're a little bit different. Um, they move a bit when, you, when you're striking it. Um, so obviously it helps the, the attackers a bit more. And, you know, following up on the other question, you know, we practice, um, you know, different different techniques in training. Let's say, um, you know, we have the the superior strike Andy Andy Russell who's there, and he takes us through different um, different exercises of different finishing. So, whatever how the ball comes in a game, you you're going to react and you're going to be used to them situations. Question. Oh, sorry, just. Jesse, um, a lot of the goals that England scored so far have been reliant on set pieces, um, at the free kicks and, and corner kicks and penalties. Obviously, Colombia have two centre halves who are six foot five and six foot one. Do, do the players recognise that there might be an onus on them to, to try and provide different service to Harry? And if, is that something that you've spoken about? Because he's not really had chances from open players yet. Um, not as much. Um, I think, like you said, set, set pieces are, um, are very important and we scored a lot of goals from set pieces at the moment so um, I don't see why change. We've, we've got big lads in the squad that can, that can handle that and as long as we practice you know, day in, day out and put it on a match day, we should um, execute it perfectly. But do you practice maybe the service to Harry as well? Is that something that you've been looking at in terms of you, you maybe Delhi or, or Raheem? Um, well, it's just it's just natural to to try and find a striker. I think I think with the players behind behind him that are playing, um, you know, there's always going to be a good partnership, and um, you know, we're always going to be looking to to slide ball through to Harry. Yeah. Jesse, obviously, uh, it looks like you'll be facing Falcao in the game. Someone I, I presume you know quite well. It didn't really work for him in England because of injuries and other things. Can you? Talk about his qualities, and also, do you think he's got a bit of a point he'll want to prove to the English? Yeah, he's, he's um, you know he's a top class player. Um, you know when he's in the boxes, he's lethal, and um, you know his finishes, his finishes, um, you know in the boxes is top notch. So obviously we're we're aware of that. Um, you know we'll have to keep him quiet, but I think we've got the the players at the back to to deal with that situation. Do you think it is a danger that he will particularly want to show us what he can do, though, given how it went for him in the Premier League? Um, you, know, you could say that, but obviously we don't know. 
don't know what he's what he's thinking at the moment. Um, of course, he'd, he'd like to play well against us, which is which is normal. Last few, Simon here. Oh, go on. Did you go on on the roller coaster the other day? Yeah. Was that, that was that. Who can you talk about the visit? Who went and was um, it near here or? Yeah, it's um, it's in Saint Petersburg. We had a day off. Um, me, Marcus, um, Welbs, Trent, Jordan Anderson went down there. Um, no, it's fun. We enjoyed it. Simon, and then Matt done after Simon. Jesse, Simon Peter from the Press Association. Um, four years ago, Columbia were one of the teams of the tournament, and you had just come off a lone spell at Brighton, I think it was, or in the championship. Where did you watch that tournament? And it seems to be a common theme within this group that a lot of players have had to fight their way through. And what does that bring an extra edge to the, to the team? Yeah, I think um, you know every player you know that's got picked is you know is worthy of being there and. And it's down to us to to put a performance on the pitch, um, you know. So everyone everyone's aware of of what they need to do to to get where we need to be. Um, you know, like I said, everyone's worked hard this season, you know, to to fight for a place in the World Cup in the World Cup squad. Uh, Jesse, uh, you spoke earlier about different uh, members of the squad bringing different qualities to the group off the field. Um, so. Talking about some of your colleagues, who is the happiest? Who's the funniest? Who's the grumpiest? Who, I mean, just can you talk about some what what different people bring to the party? Um, who's the butt of all the jokes? It's got to be me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, everyone's happy. Everyone has everyone has their own banter with with each other, and um, you know we do a lot of a lot of bonding bonding stuff. Um, you know to really get to know each other, and I think that's important as a the team off the pitch to, to know each other and obviously when you're on the pitch you you learn about them um, on the pitch as well to, to get a rough idea of how they play um, what's the qualities what's the weaknesses so I think we've really we've really come together as a squad and, and gelled over the over the past six weeks When you all come from different clubs who surprised you at being a different personality to one you imagined? Um, not many um, I thought Trent would be more quiet than he is um, yeah, he, he pipes up now and then. Um, no, but he's a he's a good lad. Um, you know, he's only young, so um, you know to be in the World Cup squad for for him is you know a huge achievement, and you know he deserved that. Okay, Jerry, hi Jesse, Jerry from the start. Um, we've heard some stories about um, habits and things, socks, lucky charms. Could you talk us through what your lucky charms are and uh, we also heard that Marcus likes to wear a very small set of shin pads is that right? From no, I like to wear shin pads No, no oh. we heard with you it was socks if you could just sort of tell us a little bit about your My socks? Um, I don't really have like a main really like superstition and um, I just like to speak to myself before the match um, you know before I go out when I'm in a tunnel um, but that's about it I'm not really. You speak out loud to yourself. No, no. Oh. Um, just, <laughs> just in my, <laughs> just in my head, um, and, and that's pretty much it. I don't really have. What do you say? Without being funny, what do you say to yourself? What? How do you get in the zone? No, it's just you just being to yourself, like you know, come on, Jesse. Um, you know, let's do this. Let's play well and, and enjoy enjoy the game, stuff like that. And is there are there any weird and wacky superstitions you found among your teammates? Um, Ashley Young puts like his, his left sock on first, his left foot through his left short first, his left arm through his left top first. So he does everything on the left side before before he goes out. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, last two, Jerry. We'll finish with Matt Law at the end. Jesse, Jerry Cox from Haters Teamwork. You said earlier about going out with the lads from Liverpool and Man United all together. I think in previous camps, it you know Rio Ferdinand said that some of the team rivalries would mean you know they'd be all separate do you think you can put rivalries aside for England yeah I think I think you have to um, you know we've, we've become like family um, you know at the moment and you know you're going to have to get a, get along with each other you know when you're family and you're, you're around each other this long and I think that's why 
um, you know we've done so well at the moment everyone gets on um, you know, there's no there's no squabbling in the camp there's no clicks in the camp um, and I think that's why we've done well and then when the season starts again your rivals again <laughs> yeah um, you could say that um, but like I said for now you know we're family and you know we've really got a, a strong bond at the moment between everyone okay. Matt Yeah, I think there's another level for us. Um, of course, you know, in training, um, everyone's sharp, everyone's hundred percent on it, and you know, when it comes to the to the games, we know we're going to be ready. And, and like I said, there there probably is another game that we can go. Um, I'm gonna have to have to wait and see. Okay, thanks everyone.